Hi and welcome to this uh, Google Sketchup tutorial. Now I got a comment from one of the YouTubers uh, that uh, my previous uh, two tutorials uh, were a bit too uh, fast for for them to follow and uh, they could not uh, see which functions I was actually using which I uh, in the toolbar on the left hand side of Google uh, <coughs> uh, Sketchup 8. Now, uh, I'd just like to tell you that there wasn't many uh, or hardly any confusing uh, options or toolbars that I uh, used. I did not even go into any of these uh, menus uh, at all. Uh, if you look in the uh, uh, the previous two tutorials, uh, you you will not see me use uh, any of these menus apart from file or new. I think I use apart from that. I never. Uh, went into these uh, toolbars. Uh, uh, all I've used is basically these uh, uh, icons here. The the function tools that are uh, basically available to you. Uh, so <coughs> let's uh, start with the the, the main functions I uh, used on my wardrobe uh, were basically the routing uh, effect on the drawers uh, on the wardrobe uh, and the chest of drawer. I think I drew. Uh, so. First of all, I'd just like to tell you that how easy it is uh, to actually uh, get the routing effect on a uh, on a draw, uh, and I'll just uh, demonstrate that to you just by uh, this is just an imaginated uh, uh, draw here. To make it easy. All I did was basically uh, <coughs> get the pencil tool, uh, go to the midpoint of this, and I wanted to route uh, that edge off. So uh, all I did. Was went to the follow me tool which is here. Highlight this edge, keep the mouse button pressed, and follow it as it's guiding you basically with the extra two lines, and follow it along. Make sure you get to the end point where, where the uh, red uh, red square appears. Once you're there, it indicates there by saying red end point. Take it up to the now. It's still when you bring it up to here, it's not quite to the edge. Once you bring it here, it still tells you that it's an endpoint because of the uh, the lines there. But you should bring it back onto the top uh, starting point. And once you let go of the mouse, hey presto, it routes that edge for you. Now that was very uh, straightforward and easy enough. Let's do uh, another one uh, and do slightly complicated, uh, meaning just use the curve. Again, <coughs> excuse me. I'm getting the cold, I think. Right, I've selected the midpoint and bring it to onto the edge, and let's bend it down on the face, basically there. And I want to router that off now. If you just wanted to router the top edge off, you use the uh, pull push tool, select it, and take it there, and it routes that edge for you. But we wanna basically uh, go all the way around so we use the follow me tool select it follow it all the way around right to the beginning let go and you got a different shape compared to the first one a different effect routing and now whatever shape you desire uh, will be routed there you just have to experiment and you, you know use your imagination uh, and that's how simple it is to router the draw edges and you can do that <coughs> anywhere basically if I wanted to uh, router uh, almost anywhere uh, if I wanted to router this portion off with the thingy tool, uh, push pull tool I can do that and uh, if I wanted to basically go all the way around then it has to be done uh, in this way and making sure everything symmetrical uh, oops. target edge has to be on the face and push pull tool and grab that take it all the way let's see if we can do this one all the way to the edge and it's giving you uh, another edge but it's not perfect it is errors in there and once you experiment with it you get used to it but it's easy to rectify it's not a you you you'll, you'll find out basically once you play around with it what you can achieve and what you can't what your limits are and uh, different ways of doing things so this is how basically I uh, routed the uh, draw uh, edges uh, and very very straightforward just by using uh, the follow me tool. 
Now coming up to the doors uh, of the wardrobe, uh, let's say I wanted uh, some routering effects, uh, let's say that thick, I want a routering effect actually on the door, so all I've done is use the offset tool, highlight it, once you just hover over it automatically uh, highlights the surface that you're on, so, and you just use your mouse, press the mouse and just drag your mouse to get the shape of, uh, of your choice, and if I wanted um, the the rectangle say like like this one inch away from the uh, this line then all I have to do is just I can go just select it like that let go of my mouse and type in one inch and it does the uh, border for me that's a one inch border and say if I wanted um, now I wanted the uh, the routing like that I use the push pull tool, push that back, and I got myself a router. All I've done is push the wood in, and I got myself a router effect less. Yeah, that will be highlighted better if I just paint that in that color and paint this in a different color. So that's giving you an idea um, of how easy it is to do that. Oops. So, so it's just push that back so it looks routed all the way to the bottom and uh, this piece basically is sticking out now I can go into the push pull tool and bring this out even further uh, <coughs> play around with it bring this out do whatever you like basically you can take extend that you can just extend this take it to the edge uh, you can bring it through do whatever you like with it and that's how uh, basically I did uh, the routing uh, <coughs> on the doors and it's just limited to your imagination do you know y there's nothing complicated that I've used here I just use basically the functions that uh, I use mostly uh, on my drawings and uh, you just have to uh, have a, a vivid or you know an open um, imagination you know whatever you can think up if you can think it up and you can put it onto uh, in, into uh, Google SketchUp the end result could be uh, basically uh, <coughs> surprising to you and uh, you know the, it, there's nothing complicated it's very very simple to use and uh, I hope it's taken the myth out of uh, Google SketchUp and all the fancy uh, uh, basically uh, uh, the functions there is on it is very very easy to use there's nothing uh, complicated about it at all uh, so uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, little tutorial and if you have any comments or you if you'd like to see something uh, that you still don't understand or you can ask uh, you know uh, how to do a th certain thing that you can't figure out on Google SketchUp I'll try to help so uh, hope you've enjoyed it please leave comments thank you